Good afternoon. China has launched a new Navy ship, which analysts in the West believe may represent a new age in naval warfare and Navy power. China's shipyard in Jiangsu province built what appears to be the world's first drone carrier. China currently has three aircraft carriers of the traditional type. But this one, however, is much smaller. The flight deck on their new ship is just a third the length and a half the width of the U.S. Navy or PLAN, People's Liberation Army Navy, uh, ship. So analysts conclude that the size of the flight deck plus the lack of available space for aircraft hangars mean that it's not going to be used for regular aircraft. The ship is strange in other ways too. It's the first carrier of any type that has been built using a catamaran hull. There is no Western ship that's similar in any way. So all of these analyses are just best guesses. Uh, in Breaking Defense, their analysis says that it's going to be learning by doing. It also comes at a time when the Chinese Navy is expanding very quickly. Their Navy is already the biggest in the world with over 370 ships. As a drone carrier, it shows that the Chinese Navy is taking a more innovative approach to drones than we are. We tend to use drones as a supplement or a support wing, but this implies that the Chinese may consider drones to be the primary strike weapons. Here is national interest, and they point out that China is investing a lot of money, but in low-cost weapons, and that these ships could offer power projection that aircraft carriers do, but do so much more affordably. An analysis in Asia Times says that unmanned vehicles are safer and they're cheaper and they're able to accomplish much more than piloted aircraft can. Operations that would be considered too dangerous or too expensive or too trivial to risk a hundred million dollar aircraft with a human pilot, these are no problem for drones. And remember that Navy aircraft, ours, fly in pairs. So any mission we have is a commitment of two expensive aircraft plus the crews literally thousands of dollars in fuel and engine maintenance for each hour of flight time. And with drones, most of those go away. This development also comes at a time when our own aircraft carrier doctrine is being called into question by our own military experts, our own Navy. National interest goes through it all, how the thinking has now shifted decisively away from their utility in the future. Aircraft carriers are big targets. They're slow, they're very expensive to build and to maintain and to crew, and the aircraft are still subject to the physical limits of the pilots that are flying them. This is a completely new ship with completely new technology. Mr. Jia in Singapore notes that China is gonna be doing a lot of experimentation here. New tactics and new strategies similar to what we had to go through a hundred years ago. Discovering things as they go along, making improvements along the way, and a lot cheaper. Interesting stuff, and the links are below. Be good. Make me a man of trust.